Hi, this is Dr. Susan Sarajari from Dominion Fertility. Thank you for joining me here today. I wanted to just say a few words about cancel treatment cycles. It happens infrequently, but if it happens, it can be quite distressing for the patient, obviously. Now, the only time cycles get canceled if they're really suboptimal and we feel we do not get the best outcome for the patient. And there could be many reasons for a cycle cancellation, and I just wanted to go over some of those with you here today. Now, for a natural cycle IVF, where there is no medication on board, and the patient basically makes their own follicle, their own egg, um, sometimes in patients who have decreased ovarian reserve, um, they might not make a follicle or the follicle that they make might never reach um, the right size or the estrogen values that are associated with follicle growth might never reach the right value for um, the follicle to be retrieved or the egg to be retrieved. And in these situations, a cycle can be canceled. Also, sometimes in these cycles, the LH concentration, which is the hormone that's associated with ovulation, might increase and then the follicle might ovulate before we're able to retrieve the egg. And obviously in that situation, a cycle gets canceled. Um, sometimes it can be converted to an insemination or an IUI cycle if the sperm is adequate and, and the fallopian tubes are open. Now, in stimulated IVF cycles, where there is medication on board, to stimulate the ovaries to make more than one egg and also to help prevent ovulation. Um, sometimes in patients who are poor responders and have decreased ovarian reserve, despite the medications we're giving and despite the adequate amount of medications they're taking, um, they still might not make a follicle. Um, and then in these situations, obviously, the cycle needs to be canceled. Um, vice versa, in some circumstances where patients are actually what we call our high responders, um, such as patients with PCOS, they might actually respond too much to the medication and um, there is a risk that they might hyperstimulate, which is, uh, can be potentially a dangerous situation and then in these situations the cycle is cancelled. Now luckily this doesn't happen very often here at Dominion Fertility at all. It's actually a very rare event that patients hyperstimulate nowadays because here at Dominion we tailor the protocols to the patient and we also trigger patients who are at risk for hyperstimulation with Lupron instead of HCG, which helps prevent hyperstimulation. So it is a very, very small risk that this might happen. Now in insemination or IUI cycles, uh, that's similar to stimulated IVF cycles where sometimes patients, despite taking medications such as letrozole, might not make a follicle or they might make too many follicles where then they're at significant risk of um, a higher order multiple pregnancy, for example, triplets or quadruplets if an insemination is done and then the cycle gets canceled. Now, there's other reasons cycles can get canceled, um, which are, for example, sometimes we do an egg retrieval and no egg is retrieved or the eggs that are retrieved don't fertilize, or the embryos that are created do not um, grow to the point we need them to be to transfer them, and then obviously the cycle needs to get canceled. Now, in patients who choose to do PGT or pre-implantation genetic testing to make sure the embryo is chromosomally normal, sometimes we test embryos and then they come back as abnormal and then you can't transfer them and in this situation obviously the cycle is cancelled. Despite the fact that obviously a cycle cancellation is, is very distressing to all of us, um, the good news is that each cycle is an independent event and I've seen it many times where you have a cancelled cycle and then you look at that cycle and you adjust protocols and you switch things around and then in the next cycle the patient does great. So don't despair if you have a cancelled cycle. Um, it does not predict the outcome of future cycles and so even though you have a cancelled cycle you might still have a really good outcome with the next cycle. Thank you so much for joining me here today. It's Dr. Susan Sarajari from Dominion Fertility. Dominion Fertility, making miracles happen one family at a time.